Hi everybody from a beautiful day in Skyrim. Today I'm looking at the Tesseract. It's an old mod from 2012. Um, it was for old Skyrim. Now it's for SSE. It's been ported across. So we're outside the Honningbrew Meadery and you are looking in a go you are looking for this body here perilous on it you'll find a ring and also <laughs> dude uh also his journal okay so the journal's quite long gives you all the backstory i'll let you pause the video to read the pages if you'd like i love it i always say this when the mod authors go that extra mile they give you a bit more detail a bit of background it all adds to the overall immersion, don't you think? And uh, yeah, the ring that you'll find on him is called a mysterious ring. All you have to do is equip it uh, to get into the home. So at this point, there's a dungeon if you want one. I haven't done it. There's uh, You can choose normal or hard difficulty or you can skip it. So you can use this rift control to get straight back out again if you'd like to um, or just take the ring off either way. There are three doors all leading to different places. This one will take you to the crafting room. Oh, I've got stuff that's, do you know, this is the worst thing, isn't it, about mobile decor that suddenly you come in and it looks like a hurricane's blown through the place you get a little buff from using that crafting font um so alchemy enchanting this is very nice quite a lot of the chests in this place these don't but a lot of them do have things in them that you can take uh, so yeah that's very cool this is my favorite room in the house nobody's surprised by that i'm sure if you've been here before Look how pretty. Really beautiful. I like these little pools too. They've got fish, barnacles and stuff. Very lovely. Yeah, so this whole crafting area suits me just fine. You come on through here to a training room. Cake in the diet. What's that doing there? <laughs> it's random, isn't it? Oh, look, that's uh, something's that gone quite wrong with her. How bizarre. Okay, let's get rid of that unsightly object. All right, and then my kitchen. Seriously, it does just look like <sighs> a tornado's blown through it, but hey. There's extra beds. These are just two random little, well, three, sorry, random little beds just sat here. There are more in the building that you can access. Love the fireplace so much. That is very nice. I'm bound to miss some areas, so don't come for me. Just check it out. Download it and check it out. This is your room. It also has its own pool, got a little button. There's also a sort of communal pool area. Oh, very nice. Hey, you get a speech buff. Like it. And then, this is just my favorite thing. Wow, click on that button. These doors will then open. Oh, and look at that. You've got a whole big song guard sky going on. And then you can see that this isn't underground. We are actually, there's movement. You know, we are moving in our own dimension. Oh, oh, that gives me goosebumps. <laughs> that is awesome. Also, if you click on this thing, you'll get some very lovely classical music. I won't do it in case I got a copyright claim. Because, man, people are doing that more and more these days. The amount of music that I can use is, is getting smaller every day. Okay, so you have your own private vault. These things are displays. Aren't they nice? And then chests with stuff in and mannequins there is actually like a whole mm, 
I don't know if I wouldn't call it a trophy hall. What would you call it? A whole armory uh, in this place. That is a useful feature. Wow, that is very useful. Don't look at my UI. Oh my god, look at that. Very cool. So yeah, the whole bedroom, very nice. There's a shrine of Akatosh in there as well, if you miss seeing that. Okay, let's go through the messy kitchen. Head on back. Library. More mannequins, more weapon displays. Big pool. That also has a water control button. Nice. This is your toilet. <laughs> I love that it actually does have a loo. And this, look at that water fountain. Dead animal head. Don't know why, why, why is that there? Okay, I'm just putting in a quick edit here because I realized that uh, I hadn't actually shown you the armory. So let's nip in there quick. Massive. Look at all these, so many weapon displays, shield racks, that's those on the wall, mannequins, there's a throne down here, some uh, spell scrolls, yeah, this is, this is very cool. So, just slipping this in because um, that's quite a big area to miss out on, you know? One other thing to mention is here in the kitchen, and it is this time lock pantry, where it has some check the mod description because there are a whole bunch of features that I haven't actually mentioned but something to do with replicating food so every few hours um it spawns food so you could slowly get rich that way well, i don't know it's, it's not something that i particularly look for in a play at home but hey it's here so you know and there are also other little things as well um, you know, that, that are just included with this mod that you might find interesting. In addition to that animal follower, um, there's also a secret here, uh, a hidden room, which I haven't even looked into. So, um, yeah, you might want to read up on the mod description and check that out. Okay, back to where we were. And then this is the stable. Don't talk to this guy, because if you do, then you'll lose your follower and end up with him instead. He is very cool, though, isn't he? I mean... Yes, that's a waste incinerator. But um, Bunny's been with me a long time, and uh, I did have that wolf, didn't I, from um, uh, Worm's Tooth for quite a while. But yeah. Okay, so I think that covers just about all of the main features. There are a couple more beds somewhere, but I seem to have lost them. Oh, there's a couple there, uh, opposite the pool. There's also this pool which also has a shower so <laughs> and also a speech buff and then more bedrooms through here so and i'm not sure you know if they're allocated for kids or followers this feels like a followers room doesn't it uh, and the same for here too they're nice rooms I'm mightily impressed by the fireplaces. You know, there's always something, isn't there, to admire, even if it's not your cup of tea. Okay, I think that covers just about everything. There may be a couple of things that I've missed, in which case I apologize, download it, check it out for yourself. Um, one of these, this one, just takes you up to an area that's inaccessible. Um, I'm not sure if that's because maybe there's a quest that I actually need to do um, or whether it was just intended to be worked on at a later date or maybe not at all. I'm not sure. But anywho, I'm going to call it the end of this video here. Say thank you so much as always for watching. Take care and stay safe everybody.